Hi, welcome to Dynamics 365 Joyful Learning with Shafiuddin Muhammad. Today we are going to discuss about how to enable and disable the buttons using jQuery in MS Power Apps portal. For example, if name attribute contains data, enable submit button, else disable submit button. As you can see on his screen, there is uh, in NCC entity form, if first name contains data, we need to enable submit button. If first name does not contain data, we need to disable submit button. So first initially we need to get the uh, submit button ID through inspecting the element. Go to your portal, uh, your respective entity form, open developer mode, inspect the submit button elements. So the submit button ID is insert submit, copy, paste as per your convenience where you want to paste. And we need schema name of name all, first name also. So, inspect the first name, schema name. New underscore name, control C, paste. Now go to console. Initially we'll check uh, the syntax of disable enable button is working as expected or not before before start before start writing the code. Dollar bracket open bracket close. Ash, place your uh, enter your submit ID. dot prop so by default this is enable now insert dot prop disable true will make it a, to a disable as you can as you can see on screen now i am not able to uh, click on submit button so by using this syntax i am able to and uh, disable this one so let's try same thing for how to enable. So same in same way, we we need to change only true as a false. Then it will become enable. Enter. So now it will it enable. So finally, uh, enable and disable syntaxes are working uh, as expected in console start writing code in visual studio dollar doc bracket open document ready function name equal to dollar bracket open Declare the variable of name. If 
name equal to null and name not equal to name not equal to undefined we need to disable we need to enable Control A select whatever the code you have written go to portal management app their basic form so in my case I have uh, NCC administration basic form in a, once basic form has been opened there are multiple tabs over there so we need to go additional settings under that we have custom javascript section we need to paste here code control v save the record clear the portal cache clear catch once catch has been clear refresh your portal control shift R let's check our code working as expected or not by default this button should be hidden because on load we are calling this function enable disable function okay this line is working as expected as you can see that by default uh, on load of the form it was uh, it is working fine so on change of first name field it should disable enable for this way new underscore name dot change function we are calling again uh, enable disable function so let's check so i'm going to give 
first name as a testing Muhammad will go down let's see see once the first name contains data button has been enabled so now again this line is working as expected again we'll remove this testing Muhammad now we'll go and check submit button has been disabled so our functionality has been working as expected thank you for watching this video till the end and uh, i hope that you have learned something new in this video so please do not forget to like and subscribe and share the dynamics 365 joyful learning video to all your friends and colleagues those who are working in dynamics 365 or those who want to start their career with the dynamics 365